Yep, that happened. July has been an absolutely crazy month for stickers and by extension sticker investors. And if you watched this video three months ago, you'd be in a huge amount of profit right now. So as you can see, the market for stickers has just been absolutely exploding. It's gone even higher than I even anticipated with these previous videos that I was talking about the sticker markets. And really the best way to describe everything that's been happening is crazy. The entire past month has just been crazy for both investors and for the sticker market as a whole. And as a result, people have made a ton of money off of this. And I guess some people who have made bad decisions have also lost money on it if they bought on peaks and then sold on dips. It's times like these when people like me need to look back on the market and sort of try to figure out what has actually caused all of this to happen, how far it's actually gone, and what the future of this kind of looks like. So that's what this video is going to aim to do. It's going to kind of just try to sum up the previous events and kind of look at how the future is going for these and also how much normalization is going to affect the market. That being said, let's go ahead and check out one word from a sponsor and then we'll get into this video. So the sponsor for today's video is Skinport. Skinport is a beautiful, beautiful site with a beautiful beautiful, beautiful UI to match. It is a great site to go if you want to buy anything on the CSGO third party marketplace. They're going to have extremely low prices and a UI that's going to allow you to find any skin that you're going to want to buy. It's a great site to use. I personally use it quite a bit and I think it's a really awesome place for you to buy some third party marketplace skins and especially to invest in some of these skins because you're going to be able to get them at lower prices, which means you're going to have higher margins. Anyway, if you want to check out Skinport, be sure to use my link in the description below. So our main culprit for this huge explosion in the sticker market is actually the one that I showed you in the little teaser in the beginning, which is the Dignitas Cologne 2014. So the Dignitas Cologne 2014 was a sticker that is largely very enjoyed by the overall community. A lot of people really, really like this sticker. It looks really good on skins because it has those really bright hollow eyes, which are a very cool aspect to add to many of the skins that you're going to actually apply the sticker to. The other nice thing about it is it's very round and pretty concentric. The sticker just has a really overall good design. And as a whole, I did think the sticker was pretty underpriced, which is why I talked about it in my previous sticker investing guide, but I didn't really expect it to go as high as it did. In fact, it actually sold for all the way up to $700 on the Steam community market, which is just absolutely insane. For this event, the Dignitas Cologne 2014 was around $200, and after this event happened, the Dignitas shot all the way up to $722, meaning it would have netted a profit of over $520. That comes out to a multiplier of about 3.5 times, which is actually not the highest multiplier we saw during this huge event, but it it is a huge one and the Dignitas Cologne actually shot up a lot higher than a lot of the other stickers that were manipulated as well. Another tournament that did absolutely crazy during this manipulation event was Katowice 2015. Katowice 2015 just shot up like crazy really early into this manipulation and then pulled back and then shot up again so they ended up at really high prices actually higher than their original boost so really crazy stuff for Katowice 2015 as well especially the Vox 2015 Katowice Hollow which was a really cool one that one went all the way up to 1000 $300 on the Steam community markets and actually a little bit higher, but didn't sell for that high. And then if you were to buy it before the hype for them started, then, then you would have been able to get it for about $300, which would give you a profit margin of about 4.3 times, which is just crazy. One of the hugest risers for this overall manipulation event. One of the wildest things about this event though, is that the entire sticker market shot up. Like it wasn't just one sticker here or one sticker there. It was the entire marketplace and pretty much every sticker of any kind went up. It wasn't just major stickers. For example, the gold web foil and some of the other shattered web stickers those also increased like crazy and pretty much in general the overall profit margin for any sticker that you had was going to be around 2.5 to 4 times in that sort of range some stuff overperformed and some stuff underperformed based on that range but that's basically the range that you were looking at if you had one of these stickers so if you're still unaware of why this happened and why stickers went up so crazy it's actually because manipulators targeted the market pretty recently and they actually hit high tier items originally like the m4a4 howl and akihabara except i went over that in more detail detail in this video, and then after that they actually targeted some Kedavit 2015 stickers, which sort of spread on to clone 2014 stickers and some other stickers in general. Oddly enough, Kedavit 2014 was not hit, but I don't think it's really that weird just because those items were already pretty expensive, and so the manipulation for them would have had to require a huge amount of money, and that's really not going to happen. Some of the paper stickers from Kedavit 2014 did rise a little bit on buff, but that's pretty normal and it really wasn't kind of due to manipulation. So those of you that are really into Kato investing, unfortunately you guys kind of got the short end of the stick because it was pretty much the rest of the market that got hit and not really Katowice 2014. Now a really weird thing about this event is that Berlin 19 and Kato 19 also saw huge jumps in prices and especially in signature stickers which was also a very weird thing because signature stickers don't usually see any sort of rises. For example the Brolin Katowice 2019 foil one of the players that is pretty popular right now was selling for around $2.20 in June but then during this July manipulation shot all the way up to around $12 and if you want to watch this video well it's going to be 
be autographed specifically. So I do want to shout out Zonix and Foxtail in my Discord server, some really, really cool people. And they've actually been watching autographs very specifically. They're really, really into an autograph investing. And you can definitely trust their opinion when it comes to autograph investing. These guys have told me that the best ones are going to be Zantaris, Searson, and of course, Brolin. So these are all really star players that have just been performing amazingly recently. Zantaris, of course, has just been doing insane on LAN. You would have known about these autograph stickers and you would have been able to buy them. Now, this huge manipulation, of course, didn't come with its downsides. And of course, if you were one of those people that bought the Dignitas Cologne 2014 for up to $722, you'd be seeing a pretty big loss right now of around $200 because of price pullbacks. I warned people on Twitter, do not overstay your welcome with these stickers. And if you've already made profit on them, you just got to kind of cash out and be happy with it. Don't try to risk it too much and just try to make as much profit as you can without seeing some losses. To reiterate what I'm trying to say here, basically if you've already made money off of this kind of stuff, you need to just kind of cash it out when you're at a point where you're happy and then just be happy with that. And if stuff goes up even more after you've cashed out, that's just something that would have been a risk anyway, so you shouldn't take it regardless. And if you made profit, you just got to be happy and not have regrets. For example, let's look at Dignitas Cologne 2014 Hollows. So if you were to buy in at around 550 USD and then you were to not sell at 700 USD, you'd be back down at around 550 USD right now, so you wouldn't make any profit. Hopefully that makes sense. Now the final thing I want to do is just kind of talk about the future of the market. So now that we're seeing a lot of price pullbacks across the board and a lot of stuff is going back to a real normalized price, we're not really going to see many rises in the future as this is really just going to cause a butterfly effect where because some stuff is going down, people are going to see this happening and are going to sell off stuff that's still high in order to maintain the highest level of profits. This is going to cause the market as a whole to kind of just go back down to a normalized price, which kind of sucks that this is over, but if you were in on it, then that's good. Now, the kind of issue with price pullbacks is that there's not really a whole lot of room. There's not really a world where the items will continue to go up after the price pullbacks because the problem is people who are looking to invest into these items and put money into them aren't really going to want to when they're on a vast decline. However, I want to make it clear that these price pullbacks are not the death call for the stickers. There's still going to be a chance that they rise more after the price pullbacks because this entire thing was caused by manipulators who just put a ton of money into the marketplace, more money than we would have ever expected them to. What I'm trying to say is basically this is just been such an absolutely insane, unfathomably crazy event that it's really impossible to tell if this is going to continue or not continue. And even though there is going to be some normal market factors like price pullbacks happening, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a normal investment scenario. This still could be really off color. Anyway, that's going to about end the video here. We talked about the price increases and what items were affected the most. We talked about why they happened and some of the multipliers that these items actually got to. We talked about how you could have made money off of this if you were to invest earlier. And we also talked about what the future of these looks like and also some of the really weird events that were caused by this manipulation as a whole. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it and also consider subscribing for the fastest and best investment tips anywhere else on YouTube. And if you guys want to go ahead and check out my sponsor, Skinport, be sure to use the link in the description below, along with my Discord and other socials, which you can also access with the links in the description below. That being said, thanks for taking time out of your day to come check out this video with me, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.